I am no matter what they have said Muslim. I believe in God and Muhammad Muslim. Even if tears for Zahra I shed Muslim. In the oneness of God my faith it testifies in the love of Muhammad beneath my heart lies the urge to disbelief. My soul proudly defies and it won't change if for Fatima my eye cries. In the oneness of God my faith it testifies and the love of Muhammad beneath my heart lies the urge to disbelief my soul proudly defies and it won't change if for Fatima my eye cries how much we're told that we disbelieve Shia because in our hardships we believe Shia this belief comes if Zahra we leave Muslim there exists on earth a heavenly scent each year it comes when a lover of Zahra sheds a tear. How easily the word disbelief is thrown here when tears are shed for Fatima, angels appear. Indeed, with them we remain content. Our tears, we bathe within them when we lament our tears, tears that need only the Lord's consent, Muslim. How much we are told to stay hushed and silent. Every year we show that our tears are defiant, nor are we hushed of her tears or of her torment, unlike those who from her funeral were absent. Indeed, it exists with every cry, patience, but not when tyranny we defy, patience. We are, even if our tears don't dry, Muslim. We are, even if our tears don't dry, Muslim. One of the great blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives a person is their youth and it is a gift that is often overlooked by us until our youth begins to fade away. It is narrated in Tafsir al-Burhan that a person came to Imam Sadiq and asked him about the meaning of Surah 35 verse 37 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Did we not grant a life long enough for them who reflected to reflect therein? Imam Sadiq said in reply that this verse blames negligent young people who have reached the age of 18 and did not make the use of their youth. Youth is such a great blessing because not only can a person adopt good habits easily but also a young person has more stamina to exert themselves in worship. It is easier for them to fast because their bodies are stronger and healthier. It is easier for them to complete their prayers for example and rise up for the recommended prayers such as Salat al-Layl it is easier for them to study and memorize Quran and Hadith because their memory is at its peak yet despite this many youths do not have the motivation to follow their deen and have the attitude that they can be religious when they're older this is a dangerous assumption because how can we guarantee that we will live that long when even tomorrow is not guaranteed. Furthermore, Prophet Muhammad has told us that on the day of judgment, each person will be asked how they lived their lives and how they spent their youth. So this is not something we should really take advantage of. And moreover, there are great rewards for a young person who chooses to follow their faith. For example, Prophet Muhammad said that the most beloved person to Allah is a youth who repents from their sins and asks Allah for forgiveness. Furthermore, in regards to reading and acting upon the Quran, Imam Sadiq said that when one reads the Quran as a young, faithful person, the Quran will become mixed with his flesh and blood and it will affect his entire body. My dear brothers and sisters, most of the greater acts done in Islam or Islamic history were made by youths. Imam Ali is an excellent example of this because he was the first person to accept Islam along with Sayyidah Khadija despite his young age. And most of his family or most of his actually famous military campaigns, Badr, Uhud, Khandaq, Khaybar, Hunayn, all took place when Imam Ali was only in his 20s. So what excuse do our youths have that stops them from serving Islam? Even Lady Fatima 
because narration suggested that she was martyred around about the age of 18. Yet look at what she achieved in her short life. There was no woman in the Ummah that was like Fatima Zahra. In regards to her knowledge, her piety, in fact, such was her greatness that some of the companions of Rasulullah, such as Salman al-Farsi and Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari, sought her advice from behind a veil. We do not stop to comprehend how momentous it was for this 18-year-old woman to have experienced the oppression and loss that she had um, she had uh, she had to really stand up in Masjid al Nabawi and give the sermon that she gave. Fatim Zahra is the ultimate example of rising and overcoming tyranny because through the sermon she silenced all those who were against Ahlul Bayt. But alas, this is the tragedy of our, of, of our history because Lady Fatima was only 18, about 18 or so when she was killed. I cannot help but feel grief over this great loss of youth for Fatimiyah hold two kinds of pain. The Fatimiyah time holds two kinds of pain. How much more could we have learned from an 18-year-old Fatima Zahra and how great a man could Muhsin have been? How many more great sermons and acts of graciousness could we have had from Zahra salam? And how much would have Muhsin resembled Haydar if only he had the chance to live? As soon as Fatima came out from behind the door, she clutched her stomach with so much pain and cried out, Oh Fidda, help me. They have murdered my child. It then makes me almost wonder how an eye can be cool over Muhsin, son of Ali. Know that the love of this woman is universal. It's not only Shia, she inspires all. I ask how can mourning of her be immoral when from her we take every lesson and moral? It's her we're following when we mourn Zahra And just like her, her grief we adorn Zahra Why not follow her if you were born Muslim? I want the world to see the love of Muhammad It flows in the tears that for his daughter he shed If Fatima is from him and she is from Ahmed Then every tear for her by Muhammad is red Know that he collects them in his hands Ahmed and with and those who sheds these tears, he stands Ahmed. He who loves Muhammad understands Muslim. Is it a crime that I'm showing you a crime? You've taken me out of a faith so sublime. You say disbelief with her name time after time. How much disbelief you've uttered in your lifetime. Don't throw it around so casually, this word. Don't use it against love, you envy this word. If I accept her, I'm already Muslim. From the cradle, I saw the truth was with Haida. The love of Bani Hashim fed by my mother. When I hear the tale of the door and fire, my heart breaks for the tragedy of Fatima. Only the special called Fatima mother. She is, if you're in love with Haidar mother, only one name for all his lovers, Muslim. Only one name for all his lovers, Muslim.